Welcome to another video tutorial from Ask the Oracle. Remember you can find many other Oracle tutorials as well as tips and tricks and answers to your Oracle questions on our website at www.asktheoracle.net. Also, if you're not already a subscriber to our popular newsletter, Oracle Tips and Tricks, then you're missing out on a whole heap of tips and techniques to help you work better, faster and smarter. To sign up, just go to www.asktheoracle.net forward slash oracle dash tips dash sign up dot html in this tutorial we're going to use oracle's sql developer tool and learn how to write a pl sql program in 30 seconds or less to display hello world then we'll dissect the program to learn some of the fundamentals of pl sql having started sql developer and connected to our oracle database the first thing we need to do is to ensure we'll be able to see the output when we run our program to do this, we need to select TVMS output from the view menu. Having done that, we can now enter our PL SQL Hello World program. Here we go. We type in begin, TVMS output, just dot uh, put line, brackets, and the string hello world. Close bracket, semicolon to end the line. Or to terminate statement more precisely and followed by end that's it that's a hello royal program now let's run it if you look at the statement output window you should see that it says anonymous block completed this is a status message we, we can ignore but what's happened to our program output hello world what we didn't do was enable output to be displayed so let's do that and rerun our program now you'll see in the DBMS output window, the bottom window on the right hand side of the screen, it says hello world on the second line. Now let's analyze our program to explain what's happened. What we've created is an anonymous block in PL SQL, so called because it has no name, literally. There is no procedure or function or class heading or anything like that. It starts with the reserved word begin next line is the call to a built-in package dvms output that comes with the oracle database this is analogous to a library routine in other languages calling dvms output the put line causes the supplied string to be written to the output the default output in this case the screen but it could be the file if we we're running this on the on the server the last line is end which terminates in this case our anonymous block what have we learned? Let's recap. We've created an anonymous block, which like all other blocks starts with begin and finishes with end. And in the middle, we've called the built-in package dbms output to display hello world. The dbms output package and specifically the put line procedure is very important because you can use it to display trace messages when running your PL SQL programs on the server to help with debugging. So there we have it. We now know how to write a Hello World program in PL SQL. This tutorial was brought to you by Ask the Oracle. For more Oracle and PL SQL tutorials, hop over to our website at www.asktheoracle.net.